So now, after you design your newsletter, add different blocks, change background colors, or add text, or whatever you want to do, you can save this design as a template. Just go to Actions and click Save as Template. Give your template a name, save. This just lets you know that all these templates are stored in My Templates. Continue editing email and done editing. Now you can send this newsletter if you want, but let's look at the My Templates section, which is at the top right drop down menu. Go to My Templates, and here's the new template we just created. You can start a new campaign by clicking Create Campaign, edit the template, duplicate it, or delete it all from this screen. Preview and edit is also here. You can also create new templates by using this button here. And now, whenever you go to Campaigns and create a new campaign, give it a name, click Next, you will have the usual recent emails, template gallery, start from scratch screen, but this time you'll also have My Templates. And once you create more templates, this will fill up. Another new thing we added in the template gallery now is a way to find the specific templates you need. For example, if you just want the holiday templates, just click Holiday, and there you go. All these new little features should save you a lot of time. I hope you will enjoy them. Let us know how you like them. I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.